these necrotic cells uh, they have lost their nuclei macronucleus they are deeply xenophobic and they have lost their cyclo architectural features uh, all these are evidences of myocardial infarction later on these myocardial and yani infected myocardial cells will be removed by the inflammatory infiltrate by inflammatory cells lehia neutrophils by them followed by macrophages sometimes there will be inf uh, infiltration by uh, lymphocytes and later on the uh, necrotic area will be replaced by granulation tissue and the granulation tissue will be replaced by fibrous tissue uh, and uh, the fibrous tissue represents the healing tissue the second type of necrosis واللي هو على نقيض الكوزلاتيف نكروسيس از ليكوفاكتيف نكروسيس ليكوفاكتيف نكروسيس من اسمه ليكوفاكتيف يعني ذي يصير اكو ليكوفاكشن اوف تيشو ليكوفاكتيف نكروسيس از كاركترايزد باي ليكوفاكشن اوف تيشو ديو تو اكتيفيشن اوف لايسوسومال انزيمز ريزالتينج ان دايجيشن اوف ذي افكتد اريا the best example of liquefactive necrosis is what happens in uh, abscess formation and in abscess formation yeah, this is due to inf infection with pyogenic bacteria or, or pus forming bacteria bacteria uh, resulting in infiltration by a large number of neutrophils يعني the area that is infected by uh, pyogenic bacteria will be infiltrated by neutrophils يعني هاي neutrophils راح تجي تهاجم البكتيريا بالمنطقة اللي صار بها inflammation داخل الجسم and this will result in release of lysosomal enzymes of neutrophils neutrophils راح تطلق lysosomal enzymes على البكتيريا اللي التهمتها وعلى البكتيريا اللي متواجدة بالمنطقة resulting in liquefaction of the tissue infected by these bacteria and the classical appearance of uh, abscess cavity pus or abscess cavity pus اللي هو الجراحة اللي تطلع تطلع من الابسس cavity والابسس cavity اللي هو الكافيتي اللي يحتوي من البوس so the classical appearance under the light microscope of abscess cavity or pus is the infiltration by a large number of neutrophils هاي النقاط اللي تشوفوها نقاط مفصصة مثل الفراشة صايرة نقاط مفصصة هي بالحقيقة عبارة عن neutrophils so we have a very large number of neutrophils infiltrating this kind of tissue احنا ما نعرف شنو هذا التشو بس نعرف انه هذا عبارة عن abscess because of the presence of large number of neutrophils these are neutrophils and the second feature plus the presence of neutrophils the second feature is the accumulation of هذا اللي دا اشر علي the accumulation of uh, exudate اللي هو protein rich fluid واذا استخدمنا special stain the third feature will give rise uh, will, will be detected which is the presence of bacteria dead and alive bacteria so we have three features in abscess cavity which is infiltration by neutrophils exudation هذا الاكسدات and the presence of bacteria هنا أنا ما نشوف البكتيريا ما راح نقدر نشوفها إلا نستخدم special stain مثلا grams stain or, or any kind of stain designed to detect bacteria this is a high power view of the same of the same uh, microscopical section of uh, abscess cavity as you can see here these are neutrophils very large number of neutrophils كلها هاي نقاط السود عبارة عن neutrophils زين شلون نعرف انه هاي neutrophils because they are they have multi, multi lobed nuclei multi-lobed nuclei in between you can see the exudate manchi exudate and if we stains uh, if we use a special stain designed to 
detect bacteria, we can find bacteria. Probably these are bacteria. احتمال تكون هذه بكتيريا هاي النقاط السوداء الطاخ الصغيرة هي ممكن تكون بكتيريا. This is the second type of necrosis. The third type of necrosis is caseous necrosis. Caseous necrosis هو يعني ليش صحنا ل caseous necrosis لأنه مكتسب اسمه من شكله أو من ال appearance مالته. Caseous necrosis refers to a cheese-like material. وذا تعرفون الكازين الكازين اللي هو المادة اللي مكونة للجبن. لها سبب إحنا صحنا له caseous necrosis. Caseous necrosis appears grossly as cheese-like material, and classically this type of Necrosis will be seen in cases of tuberculosis. Whenever we cut a lung that is affected by tuberculosis, we will find a cheese-like material extruding from the cut surface. تطلع من الكات سيرفس مثل مثل الجبن. And this is first recognized by Greek by the Greek who described caseous necrosis in tuberculosis and under the microscope caseous necrosis is classically seen in the center of granulomatous inflammation area number one represents uh, caseous necrosis in the center of this field area number two who are granulomatous inflammation a special type of chronic inflammation granulomatous inflammation surrounding caseous necrosis area number three which is inflammation by يعني infiltration by uh, lymphocytes and plasma cells and number four this is a, a special type of inflammatory cells known as giant cells الخلايا العملاقة هذا الموضوع راح ناخذه بعدين بالinflammatory response بالinflammation بس اللي يهمنا احنا اليوم هو الكازيوس نيكروسس area number one كازيوس نيكروسس is seen under the light microscope as isinophilic amorphous isinophilic لونه احمر وانتو ده شوفون هسه لونه احمر amorphous منقط granular مفرقط ما صحيح مفرقط and They are seen in the center of granulomatous inflammation. So these are the features of caseous necrosis. Under high power magnification of caseous necrosis, you can see that this is this type of necrosis is in the center of granulomatous inflammation. And the granulomatous inflammation is surrounded by large number of lymphocytes, and sometimes we can find this kind of giant cell, known as Langerhans type of giant cell, and this is a classic, the classical appearance of uh, uh, tuberculosis.